Are you not stoked? I am pretty excited. I have a JBL speaker. <coughs> Actually didn't smell good at all. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Henry Reacts and I am reacting to the new JBL speaker. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? I, for one, am very excited because not only do these sound amazing, but you can pair them up to other JBL speakers and get such amazing sound quality. So when I got this, it was two days ago, I honestly didn't do an unboxing video for it, which makes me kind of sad. But if you'd like to uh, see a reboxing, let me know. I can arrange something like that. So let's go ahead and get to my reactions to the JBL speaker. So one of the things I noticed right away were these woofers on the side of the speaker. So there are these subwoofers on the side that move like a big stereo speaker. So to get that kind of quality out of this is really unique and really quite cool for something that's waterproof. Speaking of waterproof, this is IP67 water resistance. So you can throw this in the pool, you can bring it to the beach, and it'll be perfectly fine. This is basically the bigger version of the um, Ultimate Ears speaker that I reviewed a while ago. I posted in at least three of my videos for recommended tech, and I gotta say, this definitely beats on top of that list. It does raise up in price. This is about $130. Um, and I'll leave a description down below. Um, leave a link in the description down below is what I meant. So in terms of sound quality, I gotta say, again, this is amazing. So my initial impressions were, I can't read the buttons. If you shine a really bright light where the buttons are, you can see them perfectly fine. Like this ring light setup that I have right now, you can really see the buttons well. But in real life, you can't see those buttons. You have to feel for them. Luckily, all the buttons are raised print, so you can feel the rubberized raised print buttons, which I really, really appreciate that when you've got this camouflage design. So, overall reaction to this. I would buy it. I'd buy this twice because Pairing these together with that stereo sound is pretty darn awesome. Now, one thing that I will be sad about is it does take micro USB instead of USB-C or lightning. That made me kind of sad about it, but other than that, everything is perfect about this. The sound quality, the portability, and speaking of portability, when I won the speaker on Saturday, I also got a cool case for it. Um, this is by Old Gem. Old Gem is a pretty inexpensive but really premium type build when it comes to cases. It has this really nice felt case cover on the interior of it. And then it has this little net pouch which you can put the charging cable in, which is a really long micro USB cable. So that I am happy about, but I just wish it was USB-C so you can get faster charging, get, you know, listening to music five times faster. So to really work this guy, there's a power button on the side of it. You click that to turn it on and off. So you just have to click it. You don't have to hold it down. And it has a really cool little garage. It has a really cool guitar animation. I said garage. That is embarrassing. So to connect it to another JBL speaker, all you gotta do is click this little button right here and you can connect to your other JBL devices. And then again, these are where the buttons are and there's a little shoelace that's attached here. This is so you can put it around your wrist or you can hook it on somewhere. Um, and again, it is IP67 water resistant, so if you want to shower with it or if you want to put it by the pool, you're not going to have to worry about buying a new speaker if it gets splashed on. It does have the same net-like material that the Ultimate Ears 
Wonderboom speaker has, which is that smart speaker that I was reviewing before. This is a little easier to navigate in terms of features. Whenever you hold down the pause and play button on the ult, on the uh, Wonderboom speaker, it doesn't activate your assistant. While with this one, when you hold down the pause and play button, you can. It has a dedicated pairing button and a dedicated Bluetooth button. So if you like this video, then you liked it. And I appreciate that. So, uh, huh. I'm really trying to figure out a good catchphrase here. <clears throat> Powering down. So to put the speaker, to put the speaker in the case, you pull this guy up, you slide the speaker in, leave this little uh, shoelace in here, close it. Don't pull this, it's not gonna do anything. Take this little zipper and zoop, zoop, zoop. All done. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Did I just say episode? Thank you for watching today's episode. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you hate me, uh, I'm sorry. You should still like this video because it, you know, it's what the cool kids are doing. So uh, go ahead and like this video if you liked it. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore.